Hello, this is McD the Beast, and this is McD Sports 4 coming to you today with my Alabama 2019 college football predictions. Before I continue, don't forget to hit that like button and please subscribe. You won't regret it. So, these are my 2019 Alabama football predictions. Um, basically, I'm just going to tell you the pros and cons for Alabama going into this season. Their best case and worst case scenario. The toughest and easiest games, and then we'll go through the schedule. Um, but anyways, let's go start with the pros. Um, the number one pro for Alabama is Nick Saban, the head coach. To me, the best head coach in, in the uh, country right now. Uh, I don't even think it's that close since Urban Meyer is gone. Uh, so I'll probably say that's the number one pro for Alabama, Nick Saban. The second pro for Alabama is Tua Tag Tagalova. I always have trouble saying his last name. Uh, He's good to me. He's gonna probably be one of the top quarterbacks in the country, if not the top quarterback. And he, he, when he goes for the draft, he'll definitely be a top five pick, in my opinion. He could really throw the ball. Um, he could also run the ball some as well. So, to attack a Golova is definitely a pro for Alabama. The secondary last year, I thought that the second, well, the sec these next two pros kind of go with each other, the secondary and the front seven. So basically the defense for Alabama. I thought the secondary, it was young last year, and it got exposed some. Uh, but I think it's going to be a lot better this year, the Alabama secondary. Same thing with the front seven. That's always good for Alabama, the front seven. Um, I know they had issues with linebackers in the past with death there, but uh, I think they'll be good this year, Alabama, overall with the linebackers. So I'm going to say that the defense in general – is a big pro for Alabama. Nick Saban, someone that knows defense, is his side of the ball. Alabama will always be good on defense under Nick Saban. Uh, a con. Uh, there is one con for Alabama, and that is the special teams. Alabama, if, the way to beat Alabama is have the game come down to special teams. Because most times, if you, as long as you have average special teams, you could beat Alabama being with special teams and Alabama, they can, they're not consistent with the field goals. Uh, punting wise, they're okay. But overall, the way to be Alabama is special, is, uh, special teams. Um, for instance, the kick six game against Auburn in 2013, you got that. You, you have that. Uh, even the last year in the championship when they went for it for a fake field goal on fourth and six, the way to beat Alabama is special is uh, special teams. So that's the one glaring con, in my opinion. So now let's look at the schedule. Um, as you can see here, I'll let you, as you're starting to glance at, I'll tell you the best case and worst case scenario I have. The best case for Alabama is twelve and zero. The worst case scenario for Alabama is ten and two with a six and two record. In the conference, uh, they play eight conference games since they're in the SEC. They're in the SEC West. Um, I do think they'll go undefeated in their out conference schedule. I do believe that their toughest games, in my opinion, are the Texas A&M game, the LSU game, and the at Mississippi State game. Even though they have beat LSU and Mississippi State um, for years now, uh, I know those two teams always give Alabama a competitive game, but uh, LSU has been since um, 2011, and Mississippi State has been a really long time. And by the way, the LSU-Alabama game is going to be an afternoon game this year since uh, the SEC, since CBS came out with their um, SEC schedule that they host the SEC game of the week on CBS every day at 3.30 Eastern Standard Time. That's going to be a day game since they're, they changed the double header to uh, the week four um the week four of the college football season, so they could pit that Notre Dame Georgia game at night, in my opinion. But anyways, just a little side note there. Um, the easiest games for Duke, I mean, the easiest games for Alabama is Duke, um, New Mexico State, and Western Carolina. To me, those are the three easiest games. Um, you could argue Southern Miss, but I do think Southern Miss. I, I, to me, Southern Miss, they're going to be kind of competitive against Alabama. So, more, more competitive than Duke. So, that's why I'm having Duke ahead of Southern Miss. Um, but let's ha go ahead. Let's go ahead. Let's get into the schedule now. Um, and I'll give you my game by game picks. I'll also give you a score of each game that I've written down here in my notes. Uh, week one, they get a game, they get to play Duke and Atlanta. 
for the Chick-fil-A kickoff. Um, and by the way, we know the times for some of these games now. Um, I know I, this game is going to be th uh, 3.30 on ABC. So uh, you get to see that on ABC National Spotlight game here. But I do think Alabama is going to win Duke out, out of the uh, Marseille-Benz Stadium. And I think Alabama is going to win 51-14 to Duke. They're going to have a new quarterback. Um, they lost a lot after last season, a lot of talent. I Overall, Alabama should beat Duke pretty easily. So Alabama starts the season off 1-0. And Duke isn't even going to be ranked in that game, in my opinion. It's going to be like number two Alabama versus Duke. So, not really a fun Chick-fil-A kickoff. Week two, New Mexico State. Not much to talk here. Alabama Alabama should get the easy win in this one. Um, I, I have a 66-10 to 10 Alabama. I think New Mexico State's terrible. I really do. So, give me Alabama and a very easy win. Uh, third game here at South Carolina. Um, this game starts off that um, C SEC on CBS uh, game of the week. Um, th this game starts off with it. It's going to be Alabama at South Carolina at 3.30 on CBS. Uh, I mean, a few notes about this game. One, at South Carolina fans are going to be running their mouths that week of the game saying, Oh, we beat you in 2010 uh, with uh, Jeff Garcia and, and Alshon Jeffrey. And then... Um, South Carolina, they're going to think they have a shot. He here's the thing, though. In 2010, Nick Saban, he was still kind of new to Alabama. Um, it was they were still kind of building some. And South Carolina, that was back when they had um, Steve Spurrier, probably the best coach in history, probably the best coach in South Carolina history. Um, history. So. South Carolina, they're going to be hyping up for this game. It's in Columbia. It's on, C it's on CBS, primetime television. And they're going to be really hyped for this game. Alabama's going to win this game. And I do think South Carolina is going to be in this one for about half. Five Alabama winning the game 52-27. to 27. I think that Alabama, it, just the talent alone, I think, will be good enough to beat South Carolina. So give me Alabama on that one, 52-27. to 27. Week 4, Southern Miss at home. I do think Southern Miss will give them somewhat of a competitive game. Maybe they're in it for the first quarter or so. But I think Alabama, at the end of the day, will win the game 45-17. to 17. I mean, not very much of a debate here, just the talent alone. Uh, in my opinion, should be um, Southern Miss if you're Alabama. Week 5, a home game against Ole Miss. Um, listen, last two years, Alabama just absolutely ran Ole Miss off the field. I think one year it was 66-3, to and the other year it was 62-7. to I expect some kind of the similar thing to happen. I do think it will be a little bit closer and I do think there is some um, hype around this Ole Miss team because they don't have the bowl ban anymore. But I still expect Alabama to have Siri go ahead and win this game 55-17. to That's the score I have at, at this moment, 55-17 to Alabama at home against Ole Miss. Then they then Alabama gets their bye, their first bye week out, out of two. The, the first bye out of two byes. Um, Every team gets two buys because of the scheduling of the season and how the uh, dates fall. Is n Every team gets it. And then coming off the buy, a big game on the road against Texas A&M. Now, Texas A&M is also coming off a buy this week as well. Um, and I do think this game um, will be on national TV. I don't know if it's going to be on CBS or on ESPN because uh, – uh, the um, LSU um, Florida game is also on this week, so I this game might be on ESPN. But Texas A and M, a lot of hype around that team. I'm kind of buying into the hype. Some I, I like Helen Mond. I like um, I, I like Jim what Jimmer Fisher's doing. Um, and I and it is in College Station. And let me tell you something. Te Alabama has had issues against te Texas A&M in the past. Last year, that game at Texas A&M was probably one of the best. They probably played Alabama. Well, let me reword it. Texas A&M, the way they played Alabama, 
Um, they were pro- they were, they pro- they were probably playing Alabama pretty well. One of the teams that played Alabama well, in my opinion. I think the final score of that was like 45-23 or something. But they were in that game for the first half. When Kevin Sumlin, the, um, when he was getting booted out of um, the campus as head coach, um, they did show up at College Station. They did show up in that second half, and it was like a 27-19 victory for Alabama. Texas A&M has beat Alabama once with Johnny Manziel. Texas A&M has beat Alabama once with Johnny Manziel, yeah. Um, and ladies and gentlemen, I'll have the video in the description. I said that Alabama's going to lose a game this year. This is going to be the game they lose. They're going to go to College Station and they're going to lose to Texas A&M, thirty-one to thirty. I think. Um, I I just have a gut feeling that Texas A&M will pull off the upset here. So give me Texas A&M to beat Alabama, and Alabama suffers their first loss of the year um, as they go to five and one. Next game, Tennessee at home win. Uh, not much debate here. Tennessee, they're definitely going in the right direction. But I expect uh, Alabama to absolutely blow out Tennessee. I have a 52-23 Alabama in this one. Next next week, the following week, it's the homecoming game for Alabama against Arkansas. Uh, win here. Arkansas, they're hanging in the right direction as well. But Arkansas is at least two or three years out from being really competitive. Um, I expect Alabama to absolutely blow out Arkansas 62-21. to um, The Arkansas um, offense is going to score a few, a, a few touchdowns, though, on um, Alabama's defense. And then the second bye um, of the season. And then LSU at home. This game will probably decide the SEC West, uh, in my opinion. And it's going to be a very is a lot of smack talking. Last year, um, there was a lot of smack talking as well. A lot of people thought that LSU would have a shot in, in that game. I said it would be close, but Alabama would have won that game. I was wrong. Alabama actually won that game like twenty nine to nothing. Now I do think this year LSU will put points on the board, um, but I don't think enough points will be put on the board. I think I think Alabama playing in uh, Bryce Denny Stadium. In Tuscaloosa, Alabama, I think the home field advantage, and I personally, I just think Alabama has a better offense than LSU. And I think that will be the difference. Give me uh, Alabama to win this game. I have a twenty-one to nine Alabama in this one, as the streak against LSU continues uh, in the uh, rivalry. As the last time LSU beat them was the uh, matchup of the century, or whatever it was called, in two thousand eleven, nine to six. Then Alabama gets to go on the road to Starkville, Mississippi to play Mississippi State. Uh, Mississippi State last year, I thought they played Alabama the best outside of Clemson. Um, I, it was 24 nothing last year. That game could have easily been 14-14 at halftime. Missis- Mississippi State definitely had opportunities to get points on the board. They just choked them away. Um, I do think this game is going to be... Um, I think Mississippi State will be in the game for, in the first half at least, maybe going into the fourth quarter. But at the end of the day, Alabama is going to go into Starkville and beat them. And Mississippi State, they have a new quarterback. Um, people are a little bit down on them this year. Um, the offense could struggle some. I did give them some points in this game, but I have Alabama winning 27-7 to over Mississippi State. I think it will be a competitive game. But at the end, end of the day, Alabama just has much more talent than Mississippi State. Uh, next game, Western Carolina at home. This will be a win um, against the FCS opponent, 56-14 to 14, Alabama in that one. And then the final game of the year at Auburn in Jordan-Hare. Um, big rivalry game. Last time um, Alabama actually lost to Auburn was in 20, their last trip to um, Jordan-Hare in 2017. Uh, they won la- last year's game, fifty-two to twenty-one. Auburn was in that game in the first half. There, it was seventeen to fourteen at halftime in Alabama's favor. But then Alabama just pulled away in the third quarter. Um, I kind of expect a similar thing to happen. I don't think Alabama's going to be paying um, fifty plus on the board. I don't even think Alabama will, will pay forty plus on the board. I can't see Auburn giving up more than like. I can't see Auburn giving up forty plus and Jordan Hare, or or unless it's like a shootout. But I do think Alabama will go into Jordan Hare and win this game. 
Uh, I have a 38 to 17 Alabama. I do think Auburn's in it for the first half, but I think Alabama pulls away some in that third quarter. And the reason why, and this could be the swan song for Gus Malzahn as well, as he's on the hot seat. So we could, so that game could be the swan song. But anyways, my final prediction for Alabama. This is my official prediction here uh, for Alabama in 2019. Is eleven and one with a seven and one conference record. I do think Alabama loses a game. Um, I did a video on which game Alabama is going to lose, and I'll post that video down in the description so you can go check that one out. Um, and basically, that's my prediction. So comment down below. Tell me if you agree or disagree. Um, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching the video. And this is and this is McDee the Beast signing off.